Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss what is digestive system of rabbit. Like all other animals, rabbit also needs a digestive system to break down complex food particles into simple form. The digestive system of rabbit is connected with the process of nutrition which includes all changes in food that happens within the alimentary canal. Alimentary canal starts from mouth and ends at anus. Mesentery membrane keeps it suspended in the body cavity. Alimentary canal consists of mouth, vestibule, buccal cavity, pharynx, oesophagus, stomach, small intestine, cecum, and large intestine. The flow chart of the digestive system of rabbit has been shown here. As you can see, mouth leads to vestibule, vestibule leads to buccal cavity, buccal cavity leads to pharynx, pharynx leads to oesophagus, oesophagus leads to stomach, stomach leads to small intestine, small intestine leads to cecum, cecum leads to large intestine. Mouth eats a slit-like aperture bounded by soft upper and lower lip. Vestibule mouth opens into a narrow vertical space called vestibule that's located between lips, cheeks and jaw gums on which membrane mucus secreting glands are also present. Buccal cavity vestibule leads to a large and spacious buccal cavity which has strong teeth and mucous membrane. Pharynx is a small narrow cavity that connects the buccal cavity with the oesophagus. Oesophagus a long narrow distensible muscular tube that connects the mouth with stomach and transport the food. Stomach a large curved sac like structure which is located behind the diaphragm Slightly the left side in the abdomen cavity is called stomach. This one is the stomach. This one, stomach. It's all its small intestine. It's the large intestine. And as you can see here, it is the bladder. Near the bladder, uh, his bladder is filled. Here you can see his bladder is filled. And that's when the colon part. As you can see in this image, we have elaborated all the digestive organs of rabbit. Intestine. Rabbit stomach leads into quite lengthy and almost 1.2 meter lengthy intestine that is divisible into small intestine and large intestine. Small intestine consists of duodenum, jejunum and ileum. Cecum. It's a thin wall sac located at the junction of small and large intestine. It contains bacteria that aid in cellulose digestion. Rabbit's digestive tract is very similar to horse digestive tract. These both are hindguts fermenters which means they have cecum that acts like rumen of cow but present at the end of the digestive tract instead of the beginning. Large intestine. Small intestines open into large intestine which has two parts. Proximal colon, distal rectum. Anus. It's located at the tail base. Rectum opens outside by the anus and anal sophister guards the anus. Digestive glands of rabbit. The digestive glands of rabbit secrete digestive juice to help the rabbit in the digestion of food. Some of the digestive glands are slivery glands, gastric glands, intestinal glands, liver, pancreas. As you can see this image elaborates the slivery glands of rabbit. Slivery glands. These are present in the buccal cavity. Gastric glands. These are present in the innermost layer of the mucus. Intestinal glands. These are present in the epithelial layer of small and large intestine. Liver. It is located in the upper part of the abdomen at the right side. Pancreas, it is located below the stomach. Thank you.